away here at Meadow Lane in the National League. Aldershot kicking right to left. Phillips immediately goes to ground, does well. Amaluza plays the ball into the path, who touches it back to Harfield. Harfield up to Indy Effion. We've gone level now with Justin Amaluzor with three goals each. Oh, lovely touch from Amaluzor. Not such a good touch from Ryan Glover, but his pace allows him to recover. And he'll go up against Cameron, looks to play a one-two with Amaluzor, but Amaluzor uh, is just dispossessed. Or he can play it into the path of Effion, who's got a bit of space on the left-hand side. We're nearly two minutes in. There's a ball down the left flank to Paniatu. He's cutting in on the edge of the area. Tries a cross-come shot with the outside of his... Right foot, Modric style, nice and easy for Slocum. Has he had too much of a touch? Yes, he has. All shot come away with it with Glover. Glover gets the ball out of his feet. He's got to pick an option now. He does. He finds Effion on the left side. Effion powering down with Brindley in front of him. Getting towards the area now. Tries to get across in. Doesn't. Blocks, comes back. And then tries another pass to Willard that doesn't come off. Palmer's won it. Another early goal in the National League tonight. Yeovil have taken the lead. Crossfield ball. Missed by Chickson. Picked up by Justin Amaluzor. He's got an overlapping run from Glover. He picks the ball up with his back to goal, just inside the penalty, pokes it out to Davis, cross comes in from Davis, Hefeyong's there, and he hits the post! Take place first, Ball shot take the throw, now he's allowed on, Corden is a long way out, he's going to try a shot, oh, it's a long way out, it's followed up, Hefeyong, oh, brilliant, brilliant tackle! Corner comes in, from Aldershot, it's in! Oh, it's not in, it's saved, that's an incredible save! I don't know how he saved it, it looked like it had gone past Slocum, and then somehow it came back, Peter Langstar, first shot on target and well saved by uh, Luca Ashby Hammond. He's dispossessed. All shot win it with uh, Willard, does well. He might be able to get the ball into the path of Effion to go one on one against O'Brien. Oh, he shows him the pattern and he goes past him, but now he's got Palmer come back. He's into the penalty, pulls it back. Glover shoots off the back of Bejrami and over the bar. Another good counter-attack from the shots. Going to be a left-footed out-swinger. In it comes. Giles Phillips is there, gets the header in, and it's just wide. First half. Palmer with the corner, driven low. Glover rises highest, but he can't get it. Cameron with the shot in, and it... The shot... With Scott up top, and we're underway for the second half here at Meadow Lane, where it's Aldershot... Uh, or Knox County nil, Aldershot Town nil distance, he is, you know, he's into the right side of the penalty and checks back, drags it across, headed down, and fourth in by Kedwin Scott. Uh, it's on the man, the man's cross comes in, it's effort on goal from Chickson, spectacularly saved, good reactions from Aspie Hammond, it remains 1-0. Hammond, only as far as Chickson. Oh, Amaluza take, takes it off of Chickson, and all the shot could counter. Amaluza's holding the ball up, tries an early ball. I think Willard might just get there before Naman. He does. Now Notts County quickly get players back. Here's Willard going to the byline, tries a cross, that's deflected behind. And all the shot have won themselves a corner, and that's a good account, good counter attack from uh, from the shots. Spreading it out to the right hand side, Naman with the early ball. The and he's got his goal, his tenth goal of the season. Macaulay Langstaff control that and come away with it. Oh, he doesn't. He just, well, oh, it's missed by Kyle Cameron. Paniatu picks it up. He's fouled from behind. And he wants to take a, a quick free kick and the ref won't let him. Why not, Anthony Charles? You tell me. I think unless the referee's going to book him. I think he might player. have to book him now, the Knox County player. Mark Molesley is apoplectic with rage down there. There's no reason to me why Paniatu couldn't take that free kick quickly. And he'd sent Glover scampering away into space on the right-hand side. Up town, just inside the Notts County half. Uh, by Davies to the far post. Gordon gets the header in, it'll go all the way through to Slocum. And Ashby Hammond kicks from his hands. Amati might get a chance to go up against Bezran. He battles well, he's strong, he's on the ball, he goes down. He thinks he might have been fouled, nothing's given. Uh, 118, 118 shots fans here tonight. Here's Ineffion cutting in from the left side. On his right foot, beats one, beats two, beats a third one, and then he's dispossessed. He goes down. Sure, it was contact with a Notts County player that led to it. He looked off balance. Here's Glover, all shot, wing back possession. Just the ball through to Amati, might be able to turn and go towards goal. He does, turns nicely, he's into the penalty area. Shoots, oh, side netting, good effort from Amate. A little bit of a glimpse of what he can do. People wave it, you know, it slows down the game. 
Archie Davis takes it from halfway. It's found by the head of a Notts County player. Um, falls into the path of Willard. Willard finds Odie Alpha on the left-hand side. He's running up against his man. He goes to the byline, does well, pulls it back. Gets his cross in. Cordner's up there, but he can't turn it in. Shot man of the match to your final summing up once the final whistle's gone. Bit of head tennis in the middle. Epriog heads it down, finds Willard. He turns smartly and then turns the other way. There is the final whistle. I don't think Aldershot Town can have any complaints. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.